Oh, okay. Alright, let's check the event. It's almost over already. I really don't know what this is actually about. I hope this isn't too long. And there's even a new event now. Uh, I hope there is this over. Oh. This is so annoying. Arbon, less shots, clockwork workshop staff. Yes, very annoying. Doesn't this mean just mean that Lady Farina will sit at the Jit's table? Exactly. Sit at the judge's table, what does that mean? Oh my, we have guests. Judging from your clothes, you must be outlanders, yes? In that case, it's quite expected that you might not understand our local lingo. Now allow me to put it this way. Who should sit at the judge's table? The justices, of course. And who is our chief justice? Monsieur Novelet, naturally. Oh my, well then, why is our dear Hydro Archon sitting in Monsieur Novelet's chair? Come now, tell me, what would the poor people be in charge to think of that? If it were me, why, I would be cheated. Our Hydro Archon knows nothing about being a judge. Shouldn't she know? Well, it does seem like they wouldn't be getting what was advertised. Exactly. Trials will be not as advertised, precisely as you say. Mm, so does. So it does mean what Primal thought it did. Wait just a second. Are you sure it's okay for you to make fun of your god like that? Oh, of course. Our Arkham loves such jokes. Why? If these words reach her ears, she would tie me to stone and have me hurled into the deep lake. Watching enthusiastically from the sidelines the entire time. But, uh, dear guests, do not grieve yet, for our Arbon is ever so flighty with his words that even a milestone would not sink him. And our Arkham would say, Ah, it's a miracle, such a romantic ending. While applauding most loudly, in fact, she might even shed a tear or two. Aye, and she may even best upon me a mother of romantic fountain metal. Uh, yes, most romantic. Is that what Fontaine is considered romantic? Paimon's not sure what to say here. I'm not really sure what they're talking about. In any case, let's get to business. May I ask why have you come to our humble store? Because of the event. Speaking of which, Armon, don't you think our two guests look like the famous strangers the boss told us about previously? Hmm, quite so. One with hair like burnished gold, and the other like shiny silver. Oh yes. All right. May the may the two of you be Mr. Ings and Miss Paimon. Yeah, you know us. The boss was asking about around at the Adventurers Guild about Adventurers active in Fontaine and ended up being told about the two of you. Word is that you are a pretty form formidable team. Shouldn't we be famous from the trials already? Well, Mr. Ignus looks like we are getting more famous by the day. Thanks to me, eh? So thanks to you, Miss Paimon. Thanks to me. Hmm, come on, you could show a bit more humility. Well then, what would your boss like from us? Well, unfortunately, he's not in the store right now, so allow us to tell you in his stead. Just a few words, not to worry. To be brief, 
our boss would like your help collecting data for his champion duelist plan. Champion duelist plan. It is a plan to use champion duelists as the main characters, the development centerpiece, and the focus of our advertising for a new line of clockwork toys. Uh, Alright, that's our business by the way, clockwork toys. Also, have the two of you heard the du champion duelists? I have, don't worry, continue. Uh, not at all, could you explain? There are special institution in Fontaine. If you commit any crime, as you face your trial, you may apply for a duel against a champion duelist. Should you prove victorious, you can clear your name and defend your honor, and thus remove the need for a trial. However, defeating a champion duelist is, a, is no mean feat. Harder than selling toys, certainly. Yeah. We will fight some, eventually. Our boss believes this to be an excellent cultural institution of Fontaine. As such, toys of this kind may yet sell very well indeed. And if they do get popular outside the country, we can also win honor for the nation. Two birds with one stone, I say. Uh, I can see Leiferina herself being medals to our chests. Okay, so that's the situation, huh? But if we're making toy champion duelists, what do you need us adventures for? Well, you can develop anything without data, and the strength of the champion duelist is hung with in all manner of perilous places. Getting data on them isn't easy. What do, you, do your toys do? But when we heard that the more impressive adventures do similar things, we thought why not get adventures to help us instead? Ah, Paimon kinda gets it now. You're gonna use adventures to get the data you need for your line of toy champion duelists, is that right? Is that it? That's false advertising. Uh, it's no different from laying for in a city at the judge's table. Well, no, it's not quite that serious. It's more like replacing a wormerism flower with a mallow tree. Or, you know, a wooden pillar with a stone one. Uh, doesn't all this mean more or less the same thing? That's what you two were talking about from the start, you know? And we heard it all. Uh, that we were talking about Le, Le Pot, Horlogery, the watchmaker next next door. The way they are way worse than we are, trust me. They call themselves a watchmaker, but they make toys on the sly. Now that's just completely absurd, isn't it? Indeed, terribly so. A watchmaker that sells toys. Exactly, and this is that not reprehensible? Come, tell me, what do you like most in this world? What I likes most? Uh, it's her best buddy, Ignis, of course. In that case, if there was an Ignis puppet star somewhere that you travel from far, afar to see, only to find that it did not sell Ignis pups at all, but instead stocks in nothing but a ton of arbon puppets. Will you not be angered at this betrayal of your expectations? Will you not cry and scream? Will you not send the boss of that store flying with a single punch for denying you the purchase of your dear companion? Why, I'd be furious. I'd punch the store owner straight into a cell in the fortress of Mirpeet. Seriously, who'd buy Arbo puppets anyway? Well, now that you say so, you'll be kind of annoying. What do we do, Inus? It would be terrible if puppets of you were to go out of stock. I'm only a red hairy, don't get distracted. They're selling you a bridge here, you know? Uh, and they almost got Paimon there too. Oh, come, come now, we were just making analogies. I don't know what they say, there's no such thing as a perfect analogy. And well, the things we describe do happen, after all. You will not find very conscious or inconscious Madeleines, will you? Precisely, and such things will only increase in frequency, until they comes when watchmakers stop making watches altogether. But we shall not forgive them, oh no, unless they change their name to Lopet, uh, Lepot, Time makers. And there you both go again. 
You two really love spotting nonsense, don't you? The more you talk, the further off topic you get. So let's just have it now. What do you need us to do? Well, actually, we do have one request to make before that. Could you two go to Lepot Holler Giri next door and do a little investigation there? What you're making is their main trade, but their latest toys have become so popular they're still your customers. We heard that the store owner gained inspiration for, for those toys most that, and we are curious about what they might be. For all we know, it might be some alchemy powered toy that gives off scent four times as sweet as Sanseria's, which they use to waste their people. Well, I heard that there's an alchemist most that who can do that anyway. A uh, quadruple sweetness Sanseria, wouldn't that be... As such... Could you please help us check it out, dear guests? Our boss is quite concerned about this matter, and why won't you go yourselves? Oh, come now, dear guests. We have reputations to maintain as business people. We can't just walk over there willy nilly. Exactly, it's for the sake of our reputation. And is one reputation no one's all? For my part, I must go tell our boss of your arrival, so please let us raid for in this matter. To be honest, Prime was pretty curious. Uh, what would toys that take inspiration from Monster look like? Would they even really have something to do with alchemy? Let's just go have a look, shall we? Thank you so much. In that case, we shall wait for news from you here. Okay. Uh. Okay, we've seen this wheel here. Uh, talk to you. Well, aren't you the customers I saw earlier? Do you need anything? I didn't I need to talk to you. Uh, that's right, it says we've heard that that toy of yours is super awesome and we'd like to know more about it. Uh, of course you can. Still, my other brother sent you here to seek out information, didn't he? Your your brother, wait, actually, how did you know what we were here for? No, I just saw you walking out from the clockwork workshop, that's all. My brother owns that shop, and I know him, and what he do. And this is right up his alley. Exposed before we could even get started. Uh, should we, we should have prepped more before coming over. How were we supposed to... No, they were brothers. Uh, no, this is just a matter of corporate competition, is it? It's a brother against brother. Bible, minor language, please. What? Sorry, boss. Bible's brain gears got stuck there for a minute. Don't worry. Even the best made toys have components that will get stuck at some point. It's the same with people. You need to take good care of them. Besides, I don't think you're wrong about how much. My brother sees our relationship. Regardless, I won't take up more of your time than needed. Let me talk. Uh, let me talk about these toys instead. Uh, are you sure this is okay? We are we're supposed to be secretly gathering intel. Uh, such interesting things to say, dear customers. Our store's real bread and butter is clocks, which we make using techniques handed down from generation to generation. Toys are just my personal hobby. They bring happiness to people. So, if I let more people know about them, is that not the same as spreading happiness? Wow, that's such a nice way of thinking about things. Uh, my brother would probably say that this line of thinking is too adventurous. But that aside, why don't you have a look at the toys? At the toy. I hope you like it. Heard that you got inspiration from Mostat. Indeed, I've liked the place since I was little. And when I went there recently, it was indeed a rewarding experience for me. I incorporated the story of adventure I met there into the toy. But don't set your expectations too high, right? In the end, it's just a simple clockwork device. An adventure? So it's not a product of alchemy then? An alchemical toy? That sounds interesting, but this adventure made quite the impression. If there's time, I'll tell you his story. I'd like to try the tie out now. There's nothing quite like experiencing it for yourself. 
We love to, but there's still waiting for a reply. On the other hand, we should get there first. We didn't check the toy. We're supposed to talk, tell them about the toy, uh, and then come back, come right back. But I really want to try this adventure toy right away. All right, then remember, you're always welcome here. We're supposed to tell them about the toy. What will you tell them? I must say, should be doing a lot better risk today. Okay, so. <sighs> Boss or two guests have returned. Deliver. Uh, the two of you are quick indeed. Uh, as expected of people recommended by the adventure skills. I'm Liver. Liver. Uh, the owner of the shop. Welcome. Hey there, boss. So you and Carol are brothers. We didn't know about that, and he saw through us right away. Seriously, Albert, you didn't tell them something this important. Seriously, Arbon, didn't we agree that you'd tell them? If you're gonna cut anyone's salary, boss, cut his. Hey, aren't you brothers too? What? Don't call this guy my brother. Uh, so, what do, you, what do you mean to say that? Is that the mission's a bust? You didn't find anything? Well, no, Carol is a really nice guy and he didn't mind even though he knew about us. He even told us that we could try the toy out anytime. Huh, that guy. So, is that toy al alchemically powered? No, it's an adventure toy. Huh, those things are so corny. Didn't he say that he incorporated some adventure story into it or something? That's right, how do you know? Did you already investigate the matter or something? Huh, I just know him all too well. He always puts something sentimental into his toys without caring about the market situation. If you ask me, adventure stories are long out of fashion. But his shops are popular, isn't it? That's just ordinary market fluctuations. Once our champion duelist lineup takes the stage, we'll have him beat easily. Uh, but those aren't real champion duelists. They are the result of us out of fashion adventures play, play acting. Huh. What do the two of you know? This is what we call packaging. Uh, it's standard practice on the market, and no one cares how exactly you do it. We're just going to get the data and put it into some popular toy prototypes and claim that it's a story about the growth of the champion duelist and they'll do the trick just fine. Really, that's it? But it feels like there'll definitely be problems this way. It's fine if the story has issues, it's all about the gimmick. What would you think if I told you that Arbon and Albert are in fact ultra realistic, ultra high quality puppets based on the theme of Double Act? What? They're puppets? Can puppets look so real? Of course they can. We, we've met puppets before. Wonder is one. Uh, that's a part of the, a double act. Tricks can seem very real indeed. See that? That's a part of packaging. If you give it can, when presented the right way, generate interest. Uh, so it's just a trick, you cheater. You couldn't be more different from your brother. Uh, that's his problem for not staying in his clockwork lane. Uh, if he wants to stick his nose into the time making business, it's it's my duty as his older brother to show him what's what. Quite a dab hand, aren't you? None more conniving than the American chance I see. Dab hand. Thanks for the compliments. In that case, eyes up too. The data collection will be run by Arbon and Albert. Uh, well, we're just gonna turn a blind eye to your brotherly conflict. Just don't skip on our payment. Okay, what are we supposed to do? Hmm. Taste this resolution. Okay, I don't even care about the rest. Let's just check what's that. Armand all the boys in charge of taking care of the toys here. Okay, go to quest. Oh. oh, it's there. 
so much quieter outside. Have you heard Armand's been doing much better recently? He gets he still gets nervous when there are too many people, but he can at least express what he means. Uh, he better be. How will he become a comedian if he stutters in front of people? Well, if he can use that on his act. Armand, the staff member at uh, Lepold's Holler Gary, uh, you haven't seen him. He's from the same village as us and he wants to act in comics. Unfortunately, he has a terrible stutter. They said that it's a long term effect on him having fallen from the audience seats and hitting his head at a comedy show. I really liked that comedy too. I recall that it was called Judgment, but nowadays I feel like I can really enjoy it. I mean, the kid who wanted to become a comic actor was judged during a comedy called Judgment, and his sentence was never was to never become one. Poor Armand, what sin did he commit, and who was his judge? Who can say? Hello, oh, welcome to the Shots Clockworks Workshop. Are you here to make purchases? So you are ignoring the quest. We have all sorts of interesting toys here. Clockwork goods. Indeed, we specialize in machines that function via those principles. Toy birds, puppets, we have it all. Each of them is a high quality fresh design. Well, though the puppets dialogue might get bothersome after a while. You shouldn't. That's not a good selling point. Uh, if you're interested, we also have clockwork horses that run, clockwork blubber beasts that blow trumpets, and penguins that can waddle and shake in place. You've got penguins here, Fontaine. Uh, sorry, I wasn't being very precise. Usually, penguins live in the cold north, but I've also heard that some of them will appear in places with warmer climate. Uh, so maybe we get to see them in other parts of Fontaine when they open. The penguins in our store aren't made by me, their consignment is made by a young lad named Freminet. Ah! He's very good, if this is so myself. Reminds me of my younger brother, in fact. I once thought of inviting him to develop clockwork toys, but he remained silent, and I didn't really want to force the issue. You thought of inviting him, and he remained silent. You didn't force the issue. You didn't even ask him. Quit following me, Armand. Hello, you two. My name is Armand. You seem kind of nervous. I'm sorry, I get like this when there's too many people around. No worries, no worries. You don't have to rush. We're here to try out the toy. Oh sure, I have prepared a handbook for you. Oh, I don't want to read it. Oh, that's so nice of you, Armand. We'll read it carefully for sure. It's alright if you don't read. It's very simple and fun. Do you want to try? Thanks, I'll give it a go. I hope you enjoy yourselves. Yeah, don't mind the line. Uh, during the challenge, control the toy adventure, follow the music beats and attack the, at the right moment to hit the toys lining both sides of the track. Okay, but that's the thing on the... That's the thing on the table. Before the challenge starts, adjust your attack delay to optimize the toy's reaction pr precision. With suitable attack delay parameters, you will be able to hit toys to the rhythm Time more easily in score harder. On your device, you can enter the setting in settings interface to adjust the attack button position before starting this challenge. What? Let's see before. Let's begin. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Calibrate toy. A B. Okay, seems fine.
Okay, seem to have hit at precise time I clicked. But the slime seems to be slightly off beat with the music. Oh, we face a, a toy blue slime doing challenge. Hold the corresponding arrow key in advance to charge up before releasing the button to initiate charge attacks. Only charge attacks can damage blue toy slimes. Let's throw up back there. This song reminds me of um, Mario Galaxy. I'll replace with uh, toy double green slimes during challenge tap the left and right arrow simultaneously to initiate a wide range attack. Only wide range attack can damage the toy double green slimes. That was it for this part. Uh, oh no, there. Oh no. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it was kind of the same thing as. No, it was even simpler than the ones with instruments. Darn show go to quest. Mm. Huh? Exactly. Point me to the thing. Oh, I didn't pay attention. Complete a word quest. Okay. I didn't do that yet. Okay, so let's see the word first, then I'll go to it. There's no need to exchange. Uh, Some trees. Behold! 
Well, didn't talk to them for too slow. Should I huh. have had Quit the following me? Uh, well, are you so eager to be in work ready? Even though my me saying so, I do think that this plan won't go anywhere. Might as well go over to Lepot's Horlogier Gear to have some fun, eh? Oh, is this your honest coming out to play? Pipe down now, pipe down. If someone hears us, they might take me for a hostile spy. Uh, let's leave the stuff at that, shall we? I mean, I just work here, so let's talk work. Uh, let me say first that this data collection project will be divided in two parts. One will be run by Armo and the other by me. On my side, we wish to model the might of the champion duelists, so we will need to we need you to complete some feats of combat prowess. We have found some places where monsters often gather and play the data collection devices in the vicinity. So you need only to go forth and clear those creatures out. I have already marked the exact locations on your map. As for any other things of note, they have been written into this manual here, which you can produce at your leisure. So do you have any questions? No. Well, in that case, I hope the data gathering session goes like clockwork. Okay, so just combat. I think we got every teleport here already, so it should be fast to go anywhere. Swan Fury! During the efficacy testing simulation air arena challenge, travelers need to proceed to the designated areas and defeat all enemies. Each challenge has three different areas occupied by opponents. Clear all opponents in each area to complete the challenge. What you got? Fine, fine, go! Spread delivery! Behold! I will have order. Solidify. Fast, fast. Sign here, please. Squawn Fury. Unsightly insects. Behold. Coming through. Fast, fast. Stabilize. This is order. more here there are three waves okay maybe that's part of the same one swan fury the chest part of the quest too slow uh no I think it's that Service 
will have order. Solidify. <laughs> Behold. Unsight me and sex. This is order. Stabilize. Coming through. Ah. Squall and fury. Ah. Okay, next. Huh. The wind rises. I didn't see one of those cherubic sea hair. What's a sea hair? Uh, an aquatic life form that has embarked on a unique evolutionary track due to Fontaine's environmental factors. Under, when under the factors of cryo, it unleashes fierce elemental attacks, it possesses stronger defensive capabilities. Fuse elemental reactions from government shields. Things should be a to handle. I think I explored most of the map here already. But I. There is more. Order guide you. 
stabilize. Dumpy Dumpy Crow. your place. Coming through. Yeah. Boing, boing, boom. Gather. Squan Fury. Quit following me. Is order. Solidify. The wind rises. Slow. Ha, that, that. This is order. Stabilize. Ha, 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 yeah. Jumpy Dumpty Go! Boing, boing, boing. Right here, please. Sight the insects. Order guide you. Coming through. Back, back. Just behold. Oh, yeah. there's a question way down there. Probably Swan the Fury. Beyond the seats. Ah! 
solidified. Blazing delight. Okay, that was it. Okay, I think now I gotta do the quest. Uh, 
Ah, there's more stuff here. Okay, shots fired. Ah, okay, this is the story actually. Misfortune's more than you. Big deal. Uh, that's the most important. Only two? Okay. Ah, two times, not two previous. Okay, I think I need some of those for. Uh, Lynette. Okay, so let's continue with this story. Oh, to continue this the story of the event, I also need to complete that world quest. Okay, so what's up with you? Virgil. I must say the weather today is simply wonderful. You're quite a dashing young gentleman. Virgil at your service. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Ignis at your service. I am Ignis and my companion is called Paimon. Uh, pleasure. Paimon's Paimon and is at your service too. Uh, such elegant names. Welcome to the Court of Fontaine. It is truly an honor to meet the two of you here. I'm okay in staring much more of this. How did you know we're not from Fontaine? Uh, with a glance, it is obvious that you're uncivil. <laughs> huh? uh, that you are unsatisfied with being bathed in the soft lights of the sea, but feel the call of the wild which you will never be illuminated by bright lights. Yes, just like the heroes in your operas. Uh, yeah, that's totally true. It was an adventure too, and the Astrobe sauce came all that jazz. Uh, I knew it. Those of the adventures guild are <laughs> biggerly. Biggerly. Courageous warriors begging you with all their hearts to unlock the deepest mysteries in the world. They wake with their eyes to the stars above and sleep with their backs to the abyss below. Where there is an unknown domain, there is an adventurer who simply must explore it, and it is usually me, bravely bursting beyond the brim. I could not help but notice how your gaze is focused on many things. Perhaps you wish to study our sublime arts, our intricate clockwork mecca, or our advanced civic culture. Uh, truly, the decorations adorning your magnificent city are sublime. The clockwork mech are exquisitely intricately designed. Civic culture of your city is simple divine. Uh, meh, it's okay, I guess. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> Amazing, Paimon didn't even notice the decorations. But Paimon didn't notice that Fontaine has a ton of delicious foods that she's never seen anywhere else. Not bad, isn't it? We have a long and glorious tradition of gourmet culture in Fontaine. Naturally, the two of you must often take your meals in a great outdoors, and thus are unfortunately limited to your ability to sample the breadth of Fontaine's superb cuisine, uh, unable to experience the luxurious richness that is leisurely afternoon tea with few pastries. You don't look that rich. I've had more of a chance to sample cuisine than you think. I'm listening. You don't look all that rich. You should know, my dear friend, that true wealth is never flaunted in something as shallow as outward appearances. So why are you judging me? My head dress is quite fancy with all the gold around. Uh, hey, Indus, let's get back to the topic. I don't think that this Virgil has commission for us. Most excellent. My two exceptional friends. Have you heard of the Liliacrus's treasure? Nope, haven't heard of it. Then please, allow me to explain. This is a legend of a lost treasure that has been passed down in Fontaine for centuries. Once, there was a secret society called the Liliacrucis Forum. 
there was able to attract a great many of the rich and influential. Though they humbly called themselves a forum, their actual plan was to overthrow Fontaine itself. In the end, their conspiracy was exposed and the by uh, the distinguished members of the forum or engaged in a thrilling battle with the Maison Gardenage, but were ultimately defeated in a climatic showdown. However, my dear friends, you must know that they were once the richest and most famous of all Fontaine, and they must have gathered a tremendous amount of wealth. Yeah, they definitely did, and they must have a huge treasure vault somewhere. And when you open it, wow, uh, it's overflowing with nothing but gold shining like the sun. Correct. They wish to overthrow our beautiful Fontaine, and to do so, they must have amassed a fortune so vast that they could literally be said to have more money than Morax. Yeah, anybody has more money than Morax. Uh, however, uh, this wealth was never found. Uh, so that means that as long as we can find the Lila Cruz's treasure, we'll be filthy rich. Excellent deduction, my dear Paimon. With that fortune and control of synth, uh, anyway, after a lengthy investigation, I have discovered the location of the Lily Lila Cruz's forum's headquarters. It can be found amidst the underwater ruins outside the city. Really? What do you think, my dear Paimon? Inus, I hereby sincerely extend an invitation to both of you to become my partners and dive beneath the waves to search for the lost treasure. Ah, oh, this is sounding long. Uh, even though Fontaine's water is different from elsewhere, Paimon can never forget how she was drawing before being rescued by you. Never fear, I am here. Yeah, you say Paimon again for sure. If that's settled, please allow me to prepare diving equipment for the two of you. Uh, I should have the correct size, there's no need. Ah yes, I remember, vision holders may dive freely in our waters. But if it's you, dear Inus... Of course, I don't adopt your abilities, Inus is a famed adventure, and he must be very aware of his limits. Uh, but it's just... So happens that I do not share the same capabilities, so I will have to rely on our home growth technology to keep myself alive. Be that as it may, shall we begin? Yes, please lead the way. Uh, what? Did you just... Blinked? Uh, your wish is my command, please follow me, our destination is not far from uh, the Concord of Fontaine. You arrive with Virgil at a place that seems to be deserted. Virgil's wearing the gear to to move. Wow, it looks so heavy and so hot and stuffy. Actually, you can place Miss Flowers wrapped in cloth inside to lower the temperature. As for the weight, well, just put it underwater. There is no time for delay. Let's go, my, dear my friends. Oh, we will see him walking under the water. Ah. Oh, but well, let's see if there's a confiscation too. Oh, come on, there's always people walking around. Oh, we are always following people by foot. It would be nice if it was just walking here. Uh, I'll wait until two days later. Oh, here you go. The, I was supposed to. Huh? Did I not pay attention and that didn't have anything to do with the quest? The war heating up. Up with shim tight marks. No, anyway, I have to complete that, this one for. Come on. I have to complete this one for this anyway, so let's keep going with that. Okay, I think the way you 
was for the other one, not for this one. I just didn't pay attention. Information includes regarding form, something like this. Absolutely, maybe, most definitely. Absolute soak we really need to collect these things. Yeah, we should soak the rocket if it's value we soak the rocket really it's for the culture, culture too. Now that wasn't anything. This will be space down below. Oh, does he have the key for this area? Would you fast I think you the water really pass? Oh the ruins of the cruise from Become sector of quite kinds of quite life forms. Right, let's try that. That what? Ah. Uh, I had opened this already. Do here. I already get, got the chests that were around here, I think. Oh, huh. I'm pretty sure this wasn't here. Ah, I think that Q. Do you think the Q would be here? Okay, this wasn't here before. They've been here before, Virgil. Not long ago, Major Pymo, my companions and I were stopped dead in front of the. Good man, understand, isn't it? Well said, it is my good fortune indeed. That we need the key. What's one of those doing here? We can just run to them far back in the deserts of Sumeru. We can go from this for, for whatever. Ah, oh, play of cameras. Oh, 
coordinates is the point that is behind this star anyway you have to go up and have a look I killed. No, I didn't notice, but it was clockwork. Clock. Uh, what's the name? Those mechanisms from the desert. Uh, how we open that door and proceed onwards? Oh, so this is the forum you were talking about. There are so many books everywhere, they must really have been dedicated to studying and conducting research. But one would never have guessed that there were a secret society plotting to overthrow the government of Fontaine. As the saying goes, dear Paimon, knowledge is power. This is especially true for Lilia Cruz's forum. You should understand that with great knowledge comes great power, and once Great power is at your to command, and uh, there will only be one path left for you. Uh, Paimon doesn't think that large really holds water, but you're the local, not Paimon, so Paimon trusts you know what you're talking about and leave it at that. They seem to have been researching some amazing things though, and we've already seen plenty of stuff that's ob that obviously isn't from here on the way. These things are pretty annoying. Last time we saw them was in the desert of Sumeru. Well, knowing their extensive resources, it didn't have to it couldn't have been too hard for them to get their hands on these kinds of things. After all, this is the fabulously wealthy Lydia Cruz's forum we are talking about here. Huh. But we'll also explore a lot of domains and see more than our fair share of cool things during our adventures. Is that so? Then I presume you've also found a lot of treasure. You presume correctly, enough to cover our travel expenses. How fascinating. I mean, what a terrific achievement. I expected nothing less from the two of you. Still bad that this place is completely flooded. It really feels like a lot of happening here. And they made a lot of important discoveries. The water levels of Fontaine have risen before, and according to the folks at the Fontaine Research Institute, they will rise again in the future. Perhaps one day, all of Fontaine will disappear beneath the waves. Well, that'd be terrible. Uh, all that delicious food drowned and lost forever. Anyway, let's hope nothing like that will happen in the future. The future, who cares about that? I'll be dead alone for then. So why should I worry about the people like then? Uh, what do people in Fontaine of the future have to do with me? I will pay my respects to my family and friends. After all, they raised me and have done many things for me. But have the people of the future done anything for you, for me? So what do we owe them? Isn't that right? That's pretty extreme. Uh, that's what I might have said about the issue of flooding, if I lacked both patriotism and a sense of civic responsibility. Uh, pretty ab abominable. Anyway, sorry for digressing, there should be a way to open the door below. Let's take a look around and see if there is any clues or keys. I'll also try to see if I can find anything in the associated files, my dear friends. Not suspicious at all, Virgil. Let me see. Uh, this is actually the Institute of Natural Philosophy. Looks like the wrong place after all. Huh, so there were things like this hidden here. How fascinating. I can use it against Sonny and the others. Should be able to make use of this laboratory. Take care of things first. <laughs> Too slow. Oh, 
ancient log. I was assigned to the same lab. I was nervous at first since everyone said that he was a child prodigy. Since the disaster, such people are even more precious. I thought that since he's a star of the institute and was recommended by higher ups, he'd be full of himself. But he's much better than expected. He's not just specially nice or anything. No obvious symptoms. I made a huge mistake and knocked over an ancient geometry machine that took a lot of effort to bring back from the desert ruins. But then the machine came to life and messed everything up. Though he's a lot younger than me, he's really smart. I can't believe that's how he managed to tame the machine. Maybe taming is the right word. Maybe the other engineers will look down on me for using it. But it really did feel like taming. I know the current clockwork machine pretty well. I know the current clockwork machine pretty well, so I can tell the huge technological gulf between the two. Ignoring structure, if we can't solve the power source problems, then it'll be difficult to make any meaningful progress. But I still have to be careful. I never seen Alain angry, and I don't want to find out what he looks like when he gets angry. Few minor symptoms have appeared. Took the day off. I can hardly believe it. Alain came to visit me and even brought, my, brought his sister. She's cute and not afraid of strangers. I'm so happy. We discussed the idea of a thinking machine based on gems and tape circuits. I use the word disgust, but actually I just say things like, oh, or that's really amazing, or how will you do that, whenever he paused. And he didn't make any real contributions, but he was really into it, though, and he behaved very differently than he usually does in the lab. His, si his little sister is probably way smarter than me, a research assistant. I guess it isn't uh, that boring when it flares up, but I want to return to the institute to help as soon as I can. The additional machines got here, the previous ones are no longer usable since they were completely dismantled. But it did clear up a lot of things, at least according to him. Something about being driven by the elements in the ley lines. But we can recreate it with our current level of industrial precision and material science. I helped with compiling the report, but there's so much I couldn't understand. Apparently, lots of people are secretly unhappy that Elaine has more research resources than them. But if you ask me, everyone's smarter than me, and they should all get along, the way we can make the world a better place. His sister said that some of their friends are joining the institute. I'm looking forward to meeting them, no obvious symptoms. They joined the lab as new partners, but now I'm even more confused by their conversations. Why is it that I can understand every word on its own, but once they string them all together, I can't make heads or tails of it. Jacob is out back to that. Jacob is really the only one even close to being on the same level as me. I feel ashamed just writing that, as an adult looking for reassurance from a child as young as Jacob. I feel like I've lost all the self-respect an adult should have. Based on the research on Premier Energy Machinery, seems like they decided to adopt this name, Alain and Rene are thinking about trying to use this, the characteristics of Osea and Neoma to construct a new kinetic ore. A few minor symptoms. I may have made a contribution, well, maybe. I went on a picnic with Elaine, his sister Rene, and Jacob. I was technically supposed to be a f it was technically supposed to be a few research, but the idea came from Elaine's sister and me. We thought we didn't have any life at all outside of the research, so we asked the institute director to arrange something. Perture chores is quite boring, but the scenery is quite nice. Since you can see the great waterfall, I brought the, a camera from the institute to take photos for them. Or the camera a new invention like last year. Uh, I hope there are more outlines. Out. I hope there are more outings like this one in the future, so I can take more photos of his sister, especially. After all, Alain is always working and can be with his sister as she grows up. So these photos will come in handy later when he regrets not spending much time with her. Then he'll be able to see how she was different she was at different times. And he won't sting so much. If 
Finally, my family had enough money for a camera and things didn't go wrong. I'm sure my mom will have taken lots of photos of me. Renee and Jacob like Elaine's sister. A lot too. Uh, when in the four of, of them hang out, she sometimes acts like an older sister to them, despite being the youngest. It's a little interesting dynamic. It's a really interesting dynamic. Uh, seems to be interested in the ruins and the stone statues here. Rene also mentioned something about a troop and seals. Even though we went out there to have a bit of fun for once, they were still thinking about research. No obvious symptoms. Took the day off. Elaine's sister came to see me with Jacob. Elaine and Rene couldn't make it because their experiment is at a critical stage. They didn't have to tell me anything of that though. After all, with my limited abilities, uh, that was able to help at all is already fulfilling. I heard that Elaine and Ainstu's direction came to see me separately while I was unconscious. I feel bad that they came all this way for nothing. It wasn't e I wasn't even awake. Still taking time off, but I hope to go back to help them again soon. For all that they were graduates from the Narcissencrods Institute, and that made me really happy. They talked about the director and the vice director, as well as their adventures. It made me feel like a kid again. The only detail that didn't make sense was the cake the vice director made, because it felt like punishment when we had it. Uh, after the disaster, I lost contact with pretty much all my friends. I'm so happy that they were able to find each other again. I wonder how my friends are doing. They're probably trying to rebuild the Narcissus Cross Institute. Next time I'll go check it out. Talked the th about the Think Machine again. I had an idea about making a thinking camera so that it could take photos of those precious to him while he's busy. He thought it was kind of pointless, but that it had, that it had security and surveillance applications. Ah, is that Samer? They did it. The light bulb came on. I was lucky to have recovered in time to witness the, this historical moment. It's quite a pity, but I hope Renee and Jacob will make the breakthroughs of their own in their own research labs, research topics. Uh, I also hope they get better assistance than me. No clear symptoms. Took the day off. There were several visits while I was unconscious. It's a shame. All I could do is read the letters they left behind. Jacob left me a note inviting me to his and Renee's lab. There's something they want to talk to me about. I hope I can get out of the bed soon. And brought some brought flowers for me, but they had already wilted by the time I woke up. Took the day off. I was able to get out of bed today. The first... Uh, this is where I first met Elaine. For a time afterwards, my first time staying here, I documented experimental procedures and phenomena based on his oral descriptions. He was trying to start up the machinery below in an ill-fitting lab coat. Rene and Jacob later entered through that door. And Elaine would temporarily forget to act like the young genius and rush towards them like an energetic kid. I found myself witnessing, uh, found myself witness of to the first successful control annihilation reaction. The brilliant light cast a deep dark shadow, and I believe history was made in that moment. Can someone like me so excited that I knock it over uh, the ink bottle play a role in such a historical event? Behind the locked doors, oh, on the other side, is Renee and Jacob's lab. It seems access was limited due to the dangerous nature of their research. They were destined to become towering figures in history. I guess Alain moved to another lab. Based on his plan, once the energy problem was solved, he would study kinematics. I'll go greet him later. I wonder how Anne is doing now. I wonder what kind of beautiful woman she will grow up to be. I'll stop writing here. I don't have much time left. I hope everything goes well. Uh, 
Okay, that's the page of those. Now we can continue further into the Institute's depths, as expected of a seasonal adventure. Uh, aren't we investigating the forum? So, is it a forum or an institute? I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, forgive me for asking this out of the blue, but did either of you ever run into anyone who was looking for me? Or did you ever tell anyone else about our encounter? Uh, Pavan doesn't think so. What's wrong, Virgil? Do you want someone at all more? No, of course not. It just occurred to me that I should let you know that there are many greedy goons who are also after the Lilia Cruz's foreign secret treasure. They are very different from us. They are willing to do anything to achieve their goals, so I've always refused to work with them. As I know the most about the treasure's whereabouts, they have me in their sights. I spent a long time hiding from their prying eyes and looking for partners I can trust. It is my luck to have finally met you two, my dearest friends. So that's what's going on. In any case, I'm just relieved to hear that you never told anyone else about me. Hell, I just know I picked the right people for my partners. Only your best friends can be rely on to keep your secrets. Well, don't worry, Virgil. We won't tell anyone about anyone else about you. Uh, I've completely, I have complete confidence they will never ever tell another soul about me. Let's go, the treasure's waiting for us. Yeah, here we come, treasure. Uh, Virgil, do we have to continue looking for soap place peep paper? Oh, yeah, no, not anymore, unless you're interested in that sort of thing. Say the things that are soaking up what they have. They're soaking about the value. Suppose your friends could say something like this, the situation had changed. Why are the locals, so take a word for it. Okay. So, once he turns on us, and we have to kill him, we're not supposed to tell anybody where we left his body, since that's what he wishes. isn't that long. <laughs> Too slow. Stabilize. I will have order. Good heavens, you, know, you certainly have a way with this mecha. Yeah, do you still want to double cross us? We must be getting close to the treasure, after all, we already run into the guard guards. Fulfontaine's achievements are as numerous in dazzling as the stars in the sky. The clockwork mecha are undoubtedly the most squeezed of them all. Though perhaps I shouldn't overpraise one of the most exquisite. You must have traveled via Aquabus when you visit the course, correct? Tell me, you've seen the intricate steam bird as well? Uh, in Fontaine, even blacksmith is done by Mecca. Why, the Maison Gardenage didn't even have to lift a finger to beam me up. They just sent out some garden max. It hurt so much, there was no choice but to submit, beat you up. I mean, beat up the bad guys. Why would they ever beat me up? Because you're a bad guy. Well, with the mecha already so advanced, they ensure the people of Fontaine don't need to do anything for themselves anymore. They can just leave everything to machines. And that's a good one, my dear friend. You're just adorable. 
it's a lot cheaper to hire a human than to buy clockwork mecha. Or to put it another way, no one and nothing can infringe on a Fontaine citizen's right to work. Paimon, why don't you show him that trick of yours again? Beep constructs beep. <laughs> How fascinating. In any case, though, I think everyone will agree that humans and machines are not the same. So all the places we've been have their own charm too. It's not like Fontaine is just better than everyone else, right? My friend, surely you cannot be serious. How can there be any place in the van that's better than Fontaine? For somebody that doesn't care anything about the future, why do you care so much about Fontaine? Ah, Paimon was just trying to say that other places also are also really special too. Virgil, have ever set foot outside of Fontaine? My dear Spymo, you should know that there is an old saying in Fontaine. All waters lead to Fontaine. It's weird because actually all waters come from Fontaine, apparently. It's not like... It's not the people of Fontaine who should go out into the world, but all the world who should come and witness Fontaine's glory. Don't get it backwards. Do people really say that? Of course they do. Anyway, my friends, why don't you keep going? The treasure is still waiting for us deep inside these ruins. Yeah, let's go. Uh, that way? What about the store here? Okay. That way to get the door. To get a key to the door. The wind rises. Guillotine's instructions, the research went well. We created a clockwork mecha that can release energy. To be honest, we no longer call it a clockwork machine as it doesn't really it doesn't rely on elastic potential. It will be compelling to see what results he achieves next in kinematics. There's no way old-fashioned clockwork mecha can withstand such power output. Even young geniuses must stumble now and then. Uh, the thought of using this sort of unstable energy source is impressive, though we have, a, we have long observed these unique energies in Fontaine's atmosphere, water, and organisms, it has always been regarded as a latent threat rather than a potential resource. Aren't there few young geniuses too many nowadays? The director is pleased, sure, but won't someone spare a thought for us or their people? I mean, not all of us are as simple-minded as Sherbius. I it received a very high rating. If the patent were to be granted, the potential financial gain would be considerable. However, I decided to decline the opportunity because the machine was practically all guillotine's work. I, and I can take no credit there. My family was quite angry about it, but as an engineer, one must have a, at least a little dignity and self-awareness. We still make improvements and output efficiency has increased. Seems to have been especially recruited. Uh, that's good. He had he continued the line of research, who knows what horrors he might have unleashed. At this stage, we have to pull out. The director says everyone will be given a position and research resources after reconstruction. But I'm afraid if it were me, I would use this as an excuse for a major shakeup. People like me won't get recall anyway. Never mind, I've been pretty happy these past few days. I guess I'll consider it my retirement. I'll go to the city and open a small workshop, repairing watches for folks. Cameras too. Right, I'll see if I can make a waterproof clock. With the way things are going, it might make a killing in the future. Following me. Fine, fine, fine. Pew. Huh. 
No, no, I probably need you to tell me the order. No? Solidify! Fine, fine, go! I got the yummy! Set that! Behold! Unnecessary. Another. that unnecessary what files huh. there are suspicious there's suspicions of some sort of association or group Activity among the leaders, the so called master involved. Whilst they are very vigilant towards external investigations, there is currently no evidence of aggression or any invasive nature, so the case is not being pursued through official investigation investigative channels. Objective remains unclear, the further investigation is required. There is reason to suspect that the institute may have may be the hub of these activities. Order guide you. Blazing delight. Pew. Service with a smile. Coming through. Wretched vermin. Okay, that could be the end. According to my research, this should be the treasure vault of the Lydia Cross's forum. The riches we seek should be within. Oh, the treasure vault. Well, this doesn't look like a vault at all. Where's the treasure? But I thought the vault would be full of glittering golden mora, as dazzling as the sun. You should know, my dear friends, that just as the truly wealthy do not flaunt it in anything as shallow as appearance, real treasure. Oh, Pam knows what you're about to say. Real treasure was a praise middle of the way. Come on, Pam always get attached to the guy. Uh, I was about to say that the real treasure is not so easily revealed. But you're also exactly right, Pam, I have to say. I could have never come up with something so wise and philosophical. Regardless, the purpose of our expedition is to uncover the treasure the Institute had hidden away for centuries. I, and I am convinced, beyond a shadow of doubt, that the treasure is hidden in this room. So let's hurry up and get in there and find it. Are you sure? No one doesn't see anything in there besides a few broken room mechanisms. Your words won't me, my friend. We're partners who are seeking the Institute's long-lost treasure together. 
do you really doubt me? Okay, so is this a four or is it two? About that, let's just say that different records refer to it differently. But Magellanus, the name isn't the important thing. We should keep our eyes on the prize. What we are, what we are talking about, isn't merely a matter of hundreds of thousands or even millions of more, but a vast secret trove of hundreds of millions of more sleeping within the, the vault. Hundreds of millions of more, and there are other priceless items in the vault too, like uh, there's the all-powerful Lilia Cross Holy Surge which can pierce through armor and destroy the soul itself. A magical item powerful beyond compare. That seems something too evil for a character like me to have. Whoa, final had no idea. Uh, it's all in this vault? Precisely. And if you ask me, every moment that we spend bantering here increases the risk of us being beaten to the treasure by all sorts of scrupulous scrupulous ruffians who will stop nothing to steal it. We can't let that happen, it's our treasure. So you get me. In that case, Anus Paimon, please go forth and record the treasure. I'll make sure to watch the rear. Treasure here we come. Let's just go, what's the worst that could happen? What are you saying? If you don't beat the bad guys to the treasure, they might try to take it from us. Or force us to split with them. I don't worry about that. Huh, if I understand, you are worried the vault might be protected by some sort of techniques, right? Oh, uh, yeah, there's always traps at the end. Virgil? Oh, what's wrong? Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I'll leave the rear to you. Don't worry. Don't let anyone get through. Oh, and please, let me know when you find the treasure. What are you going to do? Lock me here? Oh, hundreds of meters of more. Mm, how can I? Uh, what's wrong? Hurry up and go find the treasure. Yeah, how can you get rid of me? You've seen me dealing with things that you probably couldn't beat. Ah, it's not going to activate by itself. Following me. Huh. Hmm. Huh. I didn't feel they should that. Last time there was a room like that, one of the items was the right one. Hmm. Without their mention, this little cruise for really did a lot of research, didn't they? We saw so many cameras along the way. They were probably used to record the results of their experiments, right? And there is also no, not to hear too. Let's see. Yep, yep. It's hard to make out a lot of the words. It says when something goes out of control, break something else, something, something, so damage can be controlled. Play turn this on. Mm, but I'm just sure hope this ring thing isn't going to suddenly stand up. It's just a ring greater. We can handle it. I was not worried about you being strong enough, but I was just scared that you break the treasure in the middle of the fight. You don't even know if there's a treasure here to break. There has to be. There is, right? This machine, why does it look kind of familiar? I think I've seen it before. It was an event in the chasm, I guess. Well, since this order brought all kinds of mechanisms from other nations to this place, it's probably something they haul over from some distant ruin as well. I probably just had a risk, fair thought. 
what is this so-called treasure? It's just the research findings. It has nothing to do with Piles of more at all. We can sell research to Sumeru, probably. Knowledge has value too. Yeah, you're right. Yes, but Paimo is still what's more. If we had hundreds of millions of more, we could build a pretty house and invite our friends over. Just eating great food and having fun day after day. Okay, the not suspicious barrier. There's a glass wall here, it seems like there's a bunch of water behind it. Look, there are cracks in the glass. Ah, uh, that looks dangerous. If the glass suddenly breaks, who knows where we'll be get swept up to. Let's find treasure quickly and get the heck out of here. Uh, what's the sound? Virgil, what's going on? I'm so very sorry, I made a terrible mistake. It was only during our expedition that I realized this wasn't the former grounds of the Lydia Christus Forum, but the, or rather the ruins of the Institute of Natural Philosophy. There's no treasure here, but there are lots of experiments on machinery and energy. And now, my dear friends, another experiment is about to begin. As for treasures, it, it would be wrong to say there aren't any at all here. As seasoned adventurers, I'm sure you've accumulated quite a bit of more and other precious items over the course of your journey. I return after the conclusion of the experiment and collect the treasures you are sure to leave behind. Uh, and don't you worry, my friends, I'll be sure to put them to good use. Not so really, we're just interest, interested in the treasures. Okay, I thought you had some bigger plan. Virgil, you lied to us. I'm not surprised at all. I figured he was going to do something like that. So you knew, and still decided to step into my trap. You are the kind of person I despise the most. So arrogant, thank you. You blessed fools all treat me like an idiot. Even a couple of foreign hillbits. <laughs> how, however, according to the records here, this machine is a special ring raider. No matter how good you are, if you can handle ring guards, you're still only made of flesh and bone. I'm not so sure about that. As to what makes it special, I'll leave it to you to... F uh... I'll leave you to find out on your own good time. Goodbye, my dear partners. Uh, it's got ready. Yeah, I wouldn't have told my whole plan like that. My whole evilness. Like, Quit following me. Just say, oh no, I think I pushed something. Solidify. Like say, I'll try to find a way to walk back. Coming through. I will have order. It's a moth and cooperative research subject. Special. This is order. Stabilize. Squall and Fury. Know your place. Ah. Okay. If I survive. Okay, but what do I do now with that? Gather! Can I break that? Clever! Oh, there we go. Salt of the Ridge Water. The Ridge Water seems to function. We'll be swept somewhere because there was. There was a. Metal bars right there. Some mess, you can usually do something like that. Good thing we managed to escape the way. No one knows what might have happened otherwise. So, right here, we're gonna find him, set up the scarf. I can't believe he puts it in the like that. Danger. The regrader didn't even touch us. I don't think there'd be buildings like this in the water. It looks like we're raising water level. Okay, but sleep, right? I'm not gonna decide to think about it.
Ah, there's a note. Piece. We're gonna find a guy, we're gonna set up the score. Yeah, there was some backstory there for the world, but. Uh, uh... <laughs> okay. That's it for the quest. So now we. Hang on, we. Is that thing open already? Ah. Not that. Okay, it's that. Where do you. Behold! Okay, this should be day two. Day three actually. Uh, waited two days. The feedback on the board doesn't look right. Shouldn't we be receiving not but high praise? Uh, it wasn't like this before. Quite unexpected, yes. I suspect foul play. Fortunately, our boss has, in his wisdom, prepared a contingency plan. Well, of course he has. Why else do you think he's a boss? Our bon bear is. Liver in here, in. He's got something for us, apparently. No, right on time. Here comes the contingency now. What contingency? Well, that's you. That's what the boss said. But he's not here right now, so let us explain. Just a short explanation, once again. During the last two days, we released the results of our champion duties plan to the public. We also started pre-orders that will allow people to pay half the price as the post and thus qualify for early access. We also place an evaluation column, that is to say, the message board at the door of a store, upon which people could leave their profuse praises. This is what they call building hype. This is the boss expected, our store really did get very popular. But very few people place pre-orders, and the amount of praise left in the other column was also lamentably low. You lack sincerity in this, where, where is the internal quality control that getting get with the times such a reviews got? Uh, looks like the market wasn't quite what you expected, huh? I fear things are not so simple. We we have a saying around here that where there's smoke there's fire that is to say that something never rises from nothing in other words someone's spreading rumors baseless is scurrilous rumors that is us. that smear us irresponsibly they responsibly invent disparaging fictions and defamatory fabrications the boss is sure that his brother is the only one who can be behind this smear campaign. Uh, Lapote Horlogeri has the most to be worried about if this plan succeeds after all. So what do you want to do? Hire us to smear them right back? Lady Farina, Bob, how could you ever think such a thing? Our boss is Carl's other brother after all. Even if they manage to stoop to such low and poor means, we will defeat them in fair, them fair square. Exactly. 
Only this way can the elder brother reform his wayward little brother. What are we need for in this case? To get them to review what they mean by sincerity and internal quality control, of course. Review what now? Uh, is that not fair? And is Fontaine not a nation of fairness? That's not what fairness means. The boss said that since everyone seems to think that the other party's packaging has been done with sincerity, we should keep pace with them. We shall package our champion duelists as the pack as the package ventures, adding that to our wealth of data will guarantee us a comeback victory. Packaging. Now they just turn an adventure tail into a toy. That's all. Ah, oh, that must be it. Please ask them what it is. That story must be the packaging we speak of. I too have heard a little something. Seems that while Caron was drunk. He accidentally let slip that the toy was made due to a certain person. Imagine what a grand tale they must have shared to inspire such words from him. Oh, really? You know, you know I'm suddenly kind of curious as to what that star might be. Why don't we try going back and asking? Will you? Oh, explain it, explain it. We shall leave this in your capable hands then, Miss Paimon, Mr. Ignis. Oh, who could that be? Uh, hello again there, customers. How have you been? Have you tried out the adventure toy, by the way? Hi there, Carol. Actually, we've got some things we wanted to consult you about. And yeah, it's about the toy. Ah, have a coincidence then. I enjoyed this. Like a fortuitous opportunity to nap or... Uh, or just happen to have enough more to buy what you like to. Let's go away. I like to hear the story behind this toy. That's right, we heard that you based this, to this toy on someone. That's gotta be the adventurer who's the star of this day, right? Uh, I see. So that's your question. Well, that adventurer did indeed leave a deep impression on me. I met an adventurer in Springvale when I was about to leave Mondstadt. It appeared that he had messed up some sort of meal delivery commission. Apparently, he had encountered several waves of monsters on the way there, and not only... Oh, I was teleported. Okay, next time I get the commission, I'll try to go by foot. Several waves of monsters on the way there, and not only had he missed the timing, but the food had also been bumped about. Knowing a thing or two about cooking, I helped him make new serving. Wow, that sure was nice for, of you. Well, but that's not all. You might find that pretty hard to imagine, but that's the one attempt at cooking resulted in all manner of accidents. The firewood got wet, a big hole got gouged in the bottom of the pot, and while I was plating up, I was hit by some flying stones <laughs> from out of nowhere. One of them even bounced onto my head. Now, that won't really hurt. Well, the job did eventually got, get done, albeit with a complaint from the customer that they had cracked a tooth on a stone while eating. Leafering above, surely it wasn't the stone that hit us on the head. Uh, what was this adventurer's name? Bennett? That was his name? Wait, do you two know him as well? Interesting fellow, that one. Later, he took me to all sorts of barely visited places in Mondstadt to show his thanks. It was a pretty rough journey, but the uncommonly beautiful sights made it worth the effort. I would have taken him for a travel enthusiast had he not told me that he had discovered those places by losing his footing during adventures, or from getting lost. On the day of my return to Fontaine, he came to say goodbye, and there I asked him if he considered his unlucky disposition bothersome. He just gave me a thumbs up and said, the world, is, uh, the world is full of all sorts of people, and maybe just happen to be the unluckiest. Though thanks to that, I've also become the bravest person, and that's giving me access to sights only I can see. What a brilliant way of putting things, walking the path of misfortune with a big smile on one's face. Perhaps that's the spirit of a true adventurer. 
That's right, but it's the most adventurous adventure for sure. <laughs> if bad luck can be infectious, people that adventure is perhaps that adventure spirit could be too. And with any luck, the later can spread far further than the former. Uh, I wonder will this story give you enough material for your report? Uh, how do you figure that one out this time? Uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. That's what we say in Fontaine. If you really wanted to know about the story, you would have asked the first time, but since you're only doing that now, I can only guess that my brother put it up to it. Yeah, I thought I would ask about it the first time. It was just weird that they didn't. So, you really did know? You know, Paimon doesn't get why everyone would have such a dim view of you. You're pretty smart, and you seem like a nice guy. It's anger, I think. He's probably still mad at me for what he sees as a betrayal. A betrayal? Our family is well known for our skills in making clockwork devices. I've always been good at making toys of that sort. And while my brother isn't quite as good, he's got a real knack for doing business. Since we both love toys, we agreed that when we grew up, we would set up the best toy store ever. But it was only when we grew up that we realized that someone had to succeed in the, fam succeed the family business. That is to say, the shop. Uh, my brother had a big fight with our father over that and he went to strike out on his own. I, on the other hand, was convinced to stay, and is that not a betrayal? I don't know, couldn't you two manage both stars? Uh, does that really count though? Well, it wasn't a show of adventurousness, that was for sure. I was afraid that if I failed to make a name for myself out there, I had to come crawling back to, my fam to the family business. I just couldn't take the pressure. I've always been like that. I'd be the first to cry when we encounter some hooligans on the street, but my brother will have met, will have me get behind him with a don't worry, watch me send them flying with my knuckle sandwich. Your relationship seems kind of complicated. Well, I suppose that's how things played out. Too. In any case, I'll be here if you have any other questions. You're always welcome here in my store. Do I have any other questions? <laughs> the wind rises. Huh. Oz, our two guests have returned. Quick as ever, I see. I suppose you gain much from your investigations. And you know, never. Why do you always show up later? Oh well, I suppose I am remiss. I shall strive to come earlier next time. Anyway, about that toy. You tell you about Bennett, he frowns. Time based on an adventure named Bennett. I see. Another thing, we didn't ask him, but Paimo thinks your brother didn't badmouth your shop. He doesn't look like the type. Oh, how so? He seems to be sorry about something concerning you. You pass Carl's word zone, your brigade pass through you, it seems to be in place under the distance, like camera just in focus. After a while, it satisfying noise struggles with his chest. Mm. To ask me, I don't think that idiot would do something like that either. Wait, so what was this whole contingency thing about? The boy just was just looking for an excuse, I suppose. Uh, more likely than not, I say. No, he's a businessman. Businessmen have a reputation to consider. And he's the big brother, is not? Big brother got a name to behold, you know? Say anymore, and you eat my knuckle sandwich. <laughs> You're exactly what Carol said he'd be. Uh, well, dear guests, I was just thinking that I should go pay that idiot visit. Or are you gonna put your difference aside and go ask him for advice then? Of course not. But he thinks he's betrayed me and feels bad about that. Shouldn't I give him the opportunity to apologize to my face? He did say that, but Paimon doesn't think that that's the sort of betrayal someone needs to apologize for. Well, it's decided. Arbon, there's no need for any further pre-orders. Return all deposits needed. 
and keep the evaluation board. What boss? So we're not executing the plan anymore? What about the data collection? There's still time to make adjustments. No, the data collection continues. I have other plans for that. And you've got payments to collect, don't you? I always do all this business. I'm suspiciously honest in this case. Uh, the boss is the boss, even when he's being stubborn. Uh, I wouldn't call his attitude towards toys completely worthless. I'll pay a visit to Laporte Horlogi Horlogiri once the next two days of data collection are complete. You know, I'd like you to come to good customers. I got some other things to settle here in the shop, so if you excuse me. Uh, Livers got such an odd temper. He's not really going to ask for an apology, see? Well, we'll look at that. Our third party has brought about an opportunity for change, change once again. Third party? There's the two of you, of course. Thanks to you, the differences between the two shop owners may yet be resolved. That's what happened previously, too. Previously? I have noticed how this shop is separated from uh, La Porte uh, Horlogery by Northland Bank. I didn't notice this was the Northland Bank. I was originally wanted to set up shop next to La Porte Horlogery to compete with them directly. Now I doubt that they knew about the boss history when they reserved that space. But in some way, they became a mediator in the conflict, didn't they? That's super interesting. The Fatui loves to meddle in other people's business, but this sort of meddling is a first for sure. And that's the importance of third parties, just like how a double act still needs an audience. Well, what about solo acts? Will things work with just one actor and one audience? Wait, are you trying to betray me too? You better watch out for my knuckle sandwich then. Now... Uh. Wait... Okay, but I think I have the other quest here. Welcome to guests, we meet again. It has not been long, and yet I miss you a little already. Uh, you sweet talker. Uh, woe is me, loaded am I. How the pain stings, perhaps I best get back to work. Let me state first that the plain data collection project will be divided in two parts. One will be run by Albert and the other by me. I did his, I think. On my side, we wish to model the agility of a, of the, a champion duelist, so we'll need you to complete a few underwater speed challenges. Ah, that's why I needed that tunnel, probably. Uh, do champion duelists have to train underwater? Who knows? I do not know one personally, and I don't think the boss knows any either. He probably just thinks that it's cooler this way. He originally wanted to install 10 different water drawing mechanisms that can spray jets up of water, but eventually gave up on the idea due to the high cost. Mm, that does sound pretty cool. Only kids will find that cool. No, sounds cool. Well, Fontaine is a realm of water after all, and if this is to be sold in other nations, a little Fontaine and flair is needed. Anyway, we've prepared a handbook with the relevant details, please produce it at your disposal. Well, are you too raring to go already? Let me take some and make some preparations. No problem, the data collection devices have already been placed over there, so you need not worry about them. You just need to focus on completing the challenge. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, it's probably just one path each. The racial turbo in charge, your character will automatically move forward in the water and you can adjust the direction to a certain extent. So, turbo bubbles uh, might appear in open water challenges. 
in contact with such bubbles will enable your character to charge forward a certain distance. Make use of troubling bubbles to efficiently reduce time consumption. Hidden obstacles may appear during the challenges. This cannot be seen unless your character gets within a certain distance of them. Contact with them in this punishment. Your challenge time remaining will be decreased. Doesn't mean any indication I did well or not. Hang on. Oh, page. I'm going to come back to this page. Uh, all them. Okay. To be present in the challenge, trying to pull these rings and ambush cream. As the same. Ah, the shop is all my appearance. Okay, they're just different obstacles, but same description. are also different.
Oh. Following me. Huh, too slow. Yeah.
Okay, one more to go. That's here. Oh no, that's that's the room. Uh, I thought this <gasps> this room be flooded. Okay, since we're here, let's check this. It's probably the last part of the story. Oh no, what's that? I thought it was just text. Maybe it'd be long, but just one text. Uh, same room. And then? The hell? What? What's that? Final quest. Finish story. Circle for it. Uh, I'm just going out. And some other day I'll come here because this may be quite long. I have no idea. It's maybe just one dialogue of each. But this could be three hours of text. So let's just go back. And we didn't see anything. Quit following me. Come on. Behold. The guy there was the world quest was marked there since I got to contain. I think after the the main Archon quest, it was there already. So I could have got to that book before meeting Seymour or it. Okay, there's that now. I have to wait. Come on, the quest doesn't show up there. I think I probably waited one day already just by doing those.
Wait, what? Don't ever say. Primal? Great! It's so great when those texts just pop up like that and they are three lines long and they would vanish on their own and I can't keep up with them. Get Bandage. That is already full. There should be a mecha a clockwork here that we could get from the toy. They look like Bennett. Or at least one of those penguins. Huh? Wait, what? Shouldn't should I have should I have enough? I didn't collect something. Ah, do, do, I, do I get... Ah, I get for the, the main quest as well. Okay, I, I thought I didn't. Uh, well... Hey, oh, why is it marked? Uh, what's your quest? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, you guys are here. It took you three days to come here? Nice, you're doing well, Carol. Brother, what are you doing here? Uh, we haven't seen each other in so long, and that's what I chose to say. I just didn't expect you to come over to see me. I mean, our shops are quite close together, but you never came here, came over. I thought you were so angry with me. I'm not here to talk about what happened before, I'm just going to ask you this. The adventure toy was made because of me, right? Uh, uh, I knew it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to hide anything from you. Uh, what? Now Pyam was confused, wasn't I inspired by Bennett? Uh, I see you two have arrived as well, I'm sorry for not explaining previously, but I didn't know where to begin. Although the adventure didn't give me a critical inspiration, my brother was the real person, the real reason I insisted on having the toy made. I can see why it might be complicated for you. I don't really get what was so difficult about all this. That's all my brother's that's all my brother for twisting himself into about into loops over everything. I haven't changed either, brother. I'm more and more convinced that you and that adventure are the same type of person. I don't have a vision, nor am I an adventure, but you have the same adventure spirit. Ben lives in an adventure while you live for adventure. Uh, did you pick the flattery up from me too? How can that be? Uh, you've never been a flatterer. You've never hesitated to tell me that I haven't any fighting spirit. And while the truth is frustrating, it is the truth nonetheless. You've always been trying to be the best toy merchant ever, but I acceded to the family's arrangements, continuing the cycle of clockmaking. Only people like you and Bennett could turn their passion into their profession. I cannot. It would be it would take a hundred of me to match your courage. Come on, don't say that about yourself. There's no point in hiding this. When my brother first stated his intention to move his shop next to mine, my first reaction was to consider moving the shop. Father would be ashamed, and rightly so. But in the end, the Northland Bank took the best part and separated us. A happy coincidence again, you could say. Yeah, Arbon told us about it. And do you really think the world is so full of happy coincidences that the Northland Bank just so happened to come between us at that time? What do you mean, Liver? I had reserved the spot long ago, but a new idea struck me, so I transferred it to them for a low price. This didn't just come out of nowhere, you know? So you were the one who got involved? Uh, do you think that your previous decision was too impulsive or something? Ever since I left, my goal has always been to be the greatest toy merchant. 
But what sort of greatness would that be if the family feud made my brother move away in the process, huh? Huh, <laughs> that smells like concerned Paimon. You were just making excuses when you said you wanted Karen to apologize, weren't you? Apologize? Not apologize, did I ever say that? Well, that's really earnest denial, considering that you actually did say it. Uh, I'm here to congratulate you, Carol. That toy is quite well made. Uh, it's been such a long time since I last heard a word of praise from you, brother. Didn't think of it. Uh, I've also brought you a gift. Here's the data I had these two adventures gather over the last few days. This should help you create something even more interesting. Uh, but weren't you going to make toy champion duelist? Uh, that data is important to you, isn't it? The plane suspended, the market shifted faster than I thought, so some ad hoc adjustments will be necessary. But this data, how could I just take it? You'll take it when I give it to you, obviously. In that case, I'll take it for safekeeping. Feel free to reclaim it should you ever need it again. So, Liver's other plan was to give the data to his brother. I apologize, dear customers, that I did not ask for your suggestions first uh, before doing this. It's fine, you paid us, didn't you? And uh, this is your personal matter. This was totally worth it if your relationship with your brother can be improved, right, Ignis? Our thoughts are aligned in this, indeed. We are on this business way, too. I uh, guess this was a successful third party intervention. Alright, Livre, Carol, since we're all here, why don't you strike why why don't you strike while the arms hot and work together on something? You're good at making stuff, Carol, and we have Livre to do their advertising. If you do it as a team, I, it's sure to work out. I appreciate your intentions, but there's no need. Mm, I feel the same way. Wait, so this is what you two are going to agree on? That Bennett fellow said this too, didn't he? The world is full of all sorts of people. So you did remember that part. The world is full of all sorts of people and they all have sights that only they can see. If I learn anything from him at all, it'll be this. It'll be it. Karen and I are just different people, which is why we've set out on different paths. Perhaps he can... He thinks that my path is too adventurous, and I, for my part, can't stand the kind of place existence he leads. That's right. If the hour hand does the middle hand's work, you'll get fired without compensation the next day. And while intense challenges are an adventure, it is a simple life, no one as well. Everyone's on their own journey of adventure. So, since we've each chosen our direction, let's walk down the path and seek our, our own unique sights. Uh, and I'll occasionally go meet with you. After all, your road will be quite difficult. Don't you worry about me. At least I know how to enlist third parties to help me out of jams. I didn't sit around waiting for these adventures or the Northland Bank. Let me tell you that. Uh, what will you do when there's a problem that even a third party can solve? I'm sure you know how the stiffer uh, gear is, the less durable you'll be. Uh, worry that... The Rift meets, we'll meet. Oh, what else can we do, huh? That's just life. No, you won't be defeated by life, just like Bennett. And if things prove otherwise... Yeah. I'll send you flying with a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Brett, listen to yourself. Uh, talking to your big brother like that. Don't get too cocky. Well, if Lady Farina can sit at the judge's desk for a while, then a little brother can borrow his big brother's lines, right? Uh, I see you're figuring us Fontaine's out. I like to ask you something. So, if you're free, let it, let's meet outside my shop later. That's all I have to say today, Carol. I'll be heading back now. So, I've gone back, have you? Well, I must thank you. I'm sure Father will be pleased that my brother and I finally spoke. The new, still the same. Resume. Oh no, yeah, it's the thing. Okay, come back in time. Huh, too 
slow. Oh, wait, they're here? No. Uh, I never paid attention. Do they have that logo on uh, Lewin? You're here? Yeah, you called. Well, you seem to be in a good mood. Thanks for your help. Speaking of which, Carol's trip to Mondstadt gave me an idea. Perhaps I should go travel around for a bit and find some inspiration for toys myself. You've traveled the world, you probably know some friends like that Bennett. Do you have any suggestions for me? Well, we do have a lot of friends, but when it comes to toy inspiration, that may be a bit tough. I wanna look for a third party. No, we're a valid third party, aren't we? Are referring to the Northland Bank? Oh, you mean the previous third party? Oh, Lepine thing. The Northland Bank's under the Fatui, and the Fatui are under. You're referring to a Harbinger. Do you mean that we can't make a toy team after a Harbinger? No, uh, it doesn't mean. Oh, Paimon gets it. Uh, Livre, did you know that there's a very special Harbinger who they call the the greatest toy, greatest toy salesman in Chesnaya? I forgot about that. What is that? Such a person? Of course, and he is a real expert too. Maybe he'll inspire you. You know, a toy merchant and a seller would make a pretty awesome combo, don't you think? Thanks for the suggestion, and they've been very helpful. I don't think it would be easy to get in contact with a Harbinger, but I do have some connections with the Northland Bank. I'll see what I can do. But will they know about the toy merchants thing? Uh, don't forget to invite us to try whatever new toy you come up with. I will. Keep an ear out for news for me. Weren't you going out? I'll inform you of my efforts in the bank to bear any fruit. Our boy Albert don't seem to be in today. They took leave. They said they had a new idea for toys. Weird, if you ask me. They usually can't think of anything but their favorite comedies. Forget having any thoughts about toys. Uh, well, what is the, what this change of heart is about? I couldn't guess. Now, we're done. No. No, it's... Here. Okay, now we did everything. Uh, they changed the banner. Ah, he's here. I thought it took a little longer to send here. Uh, and so let's make a wish. I have him, I don't have him. No. Very well. Um... Uh, I got some days for this one to win, so I'll probably do this next week. And if I play again this week, I'll probably go to N and Samer's quest. Yeah. And today I'm out.